Hello everybody, welcome to Corey Turner Talks Cars. I'm actually in a car today, so that's perfect. And it's time for zero to 60. We're gonna throw six random trivia questions at you. They're worth 10 points each. Let's see if you can get them right and go from zero to 60. So let's dive in and see how you do. Here we go. Question number one. What is the warranty on a brand new Kia 2020 Soul? Is it A, five year, 60,000 mile basic warranty, B, a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, or is it C, all of the above? All right, have you locked in your answer? Do you know which one it is? Do you know your Kia warranties? The answer is for 10 points. Yep, it's all of the above. It comes with a five year, 60,000 mile basic warranty, but that amazing 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. If you're a person that hangs onto your cars for a while, that's a killer warranty. And the Kia Soul, man, that's a really cool car. I like those. I think of the dancing hamsters every time. Good marketing scheme they had in there. Okay, let's head on to question number two. Let's see how you do. Here we go. Question number two. What was the first year of the Jeep Rubicon? Was it A, 2005? Was it B, 2003? Or was it C, 1999? All right, do you know your Jeep history? What year did the Rubicon debut? Okay, the answer is, yep, 2003. And when this came out, this really truly was the toughest, most rugged SUV at the time, or toughest Jeep for sure at the time, named after the Rubicon Trail in the Sierra Nevadas. Excellent truck, would love to get my hands on one of those. If you got that right, that's 10 points. Don't forget to leave your score in the comments, right? When we get to the end, let's go to question number three. How much does the passenger seat cost in the Dodge Demon. We're talking about the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. How much does that passenger seat cost? Is it A, $399? Is it B, $1? Or is it C, $275.99? I don't know why I didn't put the dollar sign on that one and why I indented A, who knows? But do you know the answer? Which one is it? Okay, yes, especially if you know the Demon or you've seen one of our shows, it only costs a dollar and it comes with all of the speed package as well. Um, so what an incredible car, the Dodge Demon. Woo, we've done some shows on that. Hoping to do actually a review of one here soon. Keep your fingers crossed, we make that happen. But if you got that answer right, great job. That's another 10 points. Let's move on to number four, here we go. Where was the Bricklin manufacturing plant located? Bricklin was actually a car, a real car, by the way. Some people don't know that, but where was it manufactured? Was it A, St. John, New Brunswick? Was it B, Detroit, Michigan? Or was it C, Belfast, Northern Ireland? All right, what do you think? All right, locked in your answer? Okay, well, Belfast, Northern Ireland, that's where the DeLorean was manufactured. Detroit, Michigan, of course. We know what Detroit, Michigan, but the true answer in this one is A. It is St. John, New Brunswick. That's Canada, by the way. Uh, this is a real car. It is not a fiberglass car put over a VW body. I've heard people say that. This truly was a real car. It was a ceramic car. Tons of manufacturing issues rushed into production because in New Brunswick, they absolutely needed the job, so um, they really financed a put a ton of money into this car to try to finance the jobs for the for the economy there but unfortunately played with manufacturing processes played with managing processes played with worker issues it was it was tough but if you got that one right if you got a that's another 10 points great job let's move on to question number five which brand, car brand made the brat hmm? was it a was that suzuki was it B, Subaru? Or was it C, Daewoo? Who made the Brat? Do you know who made the Brat? Of course, that is Subaru. It was the Subaru Brat. I actually had a family member, an aunt that drove one of these cars, had one of these cars. What's crazy, this one's really fancy. It's got like a sunroof and stuff on it. But in the back, you can kind of see the headrest. There are seats in the back, like these jump seats that had these handlebars that came up and you hung on. And I'd have to say that was probably a pretty scary trip in the back of a brat, but if you got that right, you got 10 points, great job. Here we go, it's time for our final question. True or false, the Ford Etzel is named after Henry Ford's grandson. Do you know that? All right, true or false, the answer is, okay, that's actually false. The Ford Etzel is named after Henry Ford's son. And from what I understand, Henry Ford II was not thrilled about that. Of course, the Etzel 
It was the wrong car at the wrong time. Its identity, where did it fit in the Ford, Mercury, Lincoln kind of, it was kind of a mess. It had some great innovation to it, but unfortunately, uh, if something went wrong, you pulled an Edsel. So, sadly, I'm sure Edsel Ford loved that, right? It did have a very weird front grill area. Check that out. Some people call it like the horse collar kind of thing. But anyway... If you got that right, you got another 10 points. So, how did you do today? Did you go 0 to 60? Maybe you went 0 to 30, 0 to 40. Be sure to leave your score in the comments. Tell us which question stumped you, right? We want to know. Also, go take a look at the, the Brooklyn. That's a crazy car. Every car we used in the episode today, I, they are for sale. I think the Subaru is not, which is kind of funny. It's on a website called... Like, bring a trailer, I think is what it's called, which I think that's classic. That's awesome. But I put the links in the description. Uh, I put the links in the description for each one of those cars that are for sale. So be sure to go check those out. If you buy one, let me know. That would be really cool. If you have one of those cars, that's cool too. Send me some pictures. Remember to like, comment, and share. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's talk about cars tomorrow.